Magalan, home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress Ice Palace, the Albs threaten the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb, selected to change the fate of Magellan. can be only one consequence for failure.
ahead. I better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. have been here for days. The helix is gone from my system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. If Kallus had... No. Yeah. If Kallus had seen I was still alive, I would have finished the job. This is a dead enemy territory. Alex returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Old world ruins. Maybe I could find something useful in there. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. I can't repair this. I can't repair this. Rotting technology from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on.
appear in enemy territory. What was Calix doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Evacuation sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observing room. My jetpack. Finally some luck. The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now. All I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong?
Shan, the land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. Come on, get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. <laughs> Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment, if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an ALB raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, then you got really lucky. An Alb Raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of Albs. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Trust is earned. That goes both ways. You'd better remember that. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. You'll train me and give me equipment? If you stay, You'll have to earn your place. 
But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here or come with me? Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotbor territory, and you won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. And follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. And neither of us want to end up as rot poor food. Let's go. through this area once without getting attacked. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magellan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magellan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Let's keep going. All right, then follow me. We should get moving. What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Maybe they're alive. Haven't you checked? Checked on the enemy? Yes, well, maybe you're right. We're all allies in the fight against the Alps. But those ruins are dangerous. The rot boars might still be there. Why haven't you joined a faction?
Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The Clerics followed the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? I want to go to Goliath. Very well, if that's what you wish. Follow me. We should get moving. Let's go. We should get moving. It's obvious that you've traveled through dangerous territory before. Do you often find clerics in Edan? All the factions come here. For intel, for resources. We all take from each other. At least it's just raids from the clerics for now. There have been wars in the past. And it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were Alps in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. We should get moving. Are you ready to? 
to go on? Let's go. I'll help you. We should get moving. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists. A group of Alves that has broken away from Zaykor. Maybe they could be allies. You think the Separatists will help you fight the Alves? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together we can defeat the Alves. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. All right, you can stop there. In the name of the Hooded Crows, and with a power invested in me by the Warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Dura sent me here. Oh, you're one of Duras's hand-me-ons, are ya? You better think about reporting to Ragnar, or one of the other warlords when you get in then. They'll check you're not an Alb spy. All right, all right. You can go in, but all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Who are the Hooded Crows? We are the warrior clan of the Berserkers. Our warlord Ragnar, proven in battle, worthy defender of Goliath, leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it, from within or without. 
We stand as guardians for fairness and justice, equality and order. All who wish to join the Berserkers must answer to Ragnar. Who is Ragnar? How can you not have heard of him? Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is the highest warlord here in Goliath. Literally, he lives up there in the ruins from the Old World. Who is in charge here? Weren't you listening? As long as Thorold, the great pilgrim and master of all magic, is away on retreat, Ragnar, warlord of the Hooded Crows, is in charge. Warlord of warlords, mighty and just, he is an example to us all. I wouldn't go knocking on his door unless you're serious about joining us. But you might get lucky and see him in the lower quarter. He likes to keep an eye on things personally. Right, got it. That's why Duras sent you here? To be recruited? You better join us and not the outlaws if you want to live. Follow the laws, impress people, and Ragnar might see fit to let you become a berserker. Break the laws, and we'll break you. So, your leader Thorold is not in the city? No. Master Thorold, the pilgrim, glorious, great, and wise, has gone into retreat. There he seeks answers. From there he will return to bring us victory. He will return as soon as his mission is successful. Until then, he has given Warlord Ragnar command of Goliath. Okay, I've got it. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Goliath? Maybe, down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way, or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people here. So, what can I do to earn my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Albs. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa for a decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. your crime. Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar, patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. Actually not from Idan. Oh, hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? I'm 
I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Vidan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Master Thorold, what kind of man is he? Thorold is not here at the moment. The Warlords are in charge of the day-to-day -day running, though all owe their allegiance to him, the Pilgrim. He has taken it upon himself to go into retreat, to seek the answers we need for Edan to survive. His knowledge of magic is superior to anyone's. If there is any person capable of solving the problems we face, it is the Pilgrim. Do you think the Berserkers can stop the Alms from conquering Edan? The Berserkers raised Edan from wasteland to forest. This is our home, and we will hold it. I heard you had taken heavy losses. War takes its toll. The clerics fought us, the outlaws have raided us, and now we must face the Alms. But the Berserkers' roots run deep into the ground here. And we have something to fight for. With magic, with self-belief and hard steel. We have returned as many dead Alps to Zekor as they have left Berserkers dead and dying here. Cormag, Angram, and myself will see the Berserkers stand firm. Talk to Angram if you want to know more. How is your war against the Alps going? Our war? This isn't a war of our choosing. They attacked us. Then they sent a party to construct a converter in the north of Edan. You'll find the metallic ruins of it there. And the soil around that monstrosity holds the bones of the Alves that came with it. Since then they have raided, rather than try to hold ground in Edan. But who knows where and when they will strike next. Here, or in Tavar, or Ignodon. The war has hurt them, no doubt. Even their own kind has rebelled. There's a group of Alps separatists to the north. They continue their love of Elix machines, but they are fighting their own kind. Where can I find Engram? Look for him in the Warrior's Quarter, near the Manor Shrine. Where is the Warrior Quarter? That would be near the Manor Shrine. If you wish to find something in Goliath, take your feet out of the door and find someone else to be your tour guide. Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And you want warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? Yes, it's apparent. I have to admit I underestimated you. At least you're observant. But it also takes guts to confront me. So you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, 
and you may earn mine. And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me looking to join us to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambition. If you earn my trust, you'll go far here. You said something about a special job if I want to join you. Correct. Then listen well. You must have sensed it out there. That things are changing. That something is happening. If we are going to survive and prosper, if we're to stand a chance against the Alves, I need to know what's going on there. That's where you come in. I need information about the other factions. Any information would be useful. But if you could bring me a report from the fort in Tavar, that would be very useful. So, be it the outlaws, a trip to the dome city in Abessa, or word from the clerics in Ignodon, I need information. Bring me a report from at least two cities. That's a lot to ask. You know your way around the wastelands. You've survived out there. So you have the skills I need. Plus, you aren't one of us. So you can blend in better with the other people. So if you want to join us, get going. The journey will have dangers. But if you stick to the path, you should reach the other cities alive. So, what will it be? Will you prove yourself? Impress me. And you will earn not just a lexit, but favor, promotion, honor. We don't trust the secrets of our magic to just anyone. If you want such rewards, you need to earn them. About my support. I don't work for free. Nor should you. A man must know his value. Then you will pay me. You will get paid for the tasks you're given. You could pay more. A man should know his value. You will get paid, and you should be satisfied with the rewards you're given. No one will cheat you here. But you should not expect charity. What do I need to do? Ask around the city. Help the people here. And they will give a good report of you to the warlord of their clan. Some are overburdened, or are doing things that are not in line with the law. Lend them a hand, and uphold our rules. And that means... Don't do anything forbidden by our laws. It is that simple. How am I doing? You must do more, if you want to fit in here. Earn those pledges, and you will earn my approval. You're not that good at sneaking, are you? You should come with me. See something more than Goliath. With all the wounded there are these days. So, you decided to stick around. Well, I've been given a job by a warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you and... Though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, it should demonstrate that we're open about things here. 
You see, there was a murder committed just outside Goliad a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well, I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from Cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't popular. He went missing around Mana's Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone, and it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. And you think I can find the killer? You're a stranger here. That means you might see things I won't. What kind of logic is that? To be honest, I think this is a dead-end job. But Ragnar, against all the evidence, seems to think it was a berserker that killed Ascor. And he wants answers. Me, I think it's a wild goose chase. None of Ragnar's questioning has thrown up any proof a berserker was involved in this, so chances are it was an alb, an outlaw, or a reaver. But if a warlord has an itch to scratch, then that means we have to go and scratch it. So let's cross all these suspects off the list and give them some closure. Is this why you brought me to Goliath? To do your dirty work? I brought you to Goliath to give you a chance. And this is a way to earn it by getting a warlord on your side. This Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor. Ascor was killed with a sword, and there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Edam. But if Ragnar's right, then it must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. Will suspects talk to me? Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well, he's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thorgal. He's in charge of a world heart in Abessa. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him on the list. Maybe just to be complete. Third is Garen, a hunter. He was reliable, but he seems to have lost heart in himself. There's something troubling him. Last are Eirdor and Rock. Rock I can't get a handle on. There's something he's not happy about. Eirdor is still wet behind the ears. A bit of a whiner, but seems to care about his job. They were all outside Goliath at the time of the murder. What do you want me to ask them? Where they were three months ago around Mana's Eve when the crime was committed. What they thought of Ascor. I doubt you'll get a confession. I doubt any of them did it, but you'll get a sense of the men, and then you can report back to me so we can close the case. Where can I find them? They're all still out there. Track them down, then report back to me when you've discovered something. Do you think we make a good team, Duras? We're a team. I'm ready if you are. You shouldn't stand around talking about these things.
about my support. Is there anything else that I can do for you? You seem to take this seriously. That's good. Since I can't pass off my duties on to you, you will have to make yourself useful in another way. The cultivators are constantly bothering me with their requests. That needs to stop. Oh, and Erdor hasn't sent back any reports from the World Heart lately. Find out if he's all right, and if he needs anything. As you can see, there's always something to do here. Where is the World Heart? To the south of Goliath, down the path. Chances are he's just busy tending to it. But I don't want to leave that to chance. We cannot afford for anything bad to happen to it. Sneaking around while other people are watching you is pretty pointless. Welcome to the Mana Shrine. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? Speak now. Or have you taken a vow of silence? Your healers here? Ah, well, you will find healers among us. But you will learn we also use the name for those who heal Magalan. Perhaps not Amric's best choice of name, but we're in the habit of using it now. We cure Magalan from the curse of Elix, and from that curse, we bring the blessing of mana. It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world. The only work that matters. This is the Mana Shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here, and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the Shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. What are you talking about? Was it a strange sequence of events that brought you to Goliath? A disturbance, a change to your life. And now events have brought you here. You know you need to be here, but you don't yet know why, if I'm not mistaken. 
What brings you to me? What do you do here, other than give free advice? As I have already explained, I oversee the Mana Shrine here. As Amrik said, our hope for Magalan is that all Elix shall become Mana. That from Mana Magalan will be reborn. From Wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So, the workers bring the Elix to us, and we transmute it at the Mana Shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Albs lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Albs have to have their Elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the elves use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them, and it damages the world. So, how do you transform elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the Mana Shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted, at the same time as Kral, one of our guards. So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Fine. I will find the Elix thief. Good. I appreciate your help. As a guard in the Hooded Crows, Kral has free access to all areas here in Goliath, so he may have taken refuge in Ragnar's stronghold, or he may have strayed further, if indeed he is the thief, and that is yet to be proven. What goods have you got? Sure. Just what will happen if we all begin to rely on machines?
just what will happen if we all begin to rely on machines.